welcome back. We are already on number eight of the 12 and a half ingredients that Gary V recommends to uh, be huge catalysts in success. My name is Alyssa Pajoli. I'm a life leadership connection coach. And today, where last week was tenacity, and that's something I personally uh, consider myself very strong in, today is also kind of sweet because it's what I get to do and how I change people's lives on a week to week basis. So without further ado, we have number eight, that is curiosity, a strong desire to know or learn more. Mm -mm. When people lack curiosity, they dismiss new opportunities instead of taking the time to explore them. The word curiosity is very underestimated in today's society. It feels fluffy, academic, childish, but Gary believes that it's one of the most important characteristics for success, for success, business, and self-growth. Curiosity mixed with empathy can lead to intuition. And let me just take a, take a pause without going on too long of a tangent here. Intuition is also something that's lacking because of how digital our society has become and how disconnected we as individuals are. So intuition is usually one of the most important things I teach my clients to be able to start tapping into and moving and living and speaking and feeling from that space. Your intuition is your gut wisdom that through curiosity and empathy can lead you there which makes sense because becoming curious on how it is you're feeling, what it is you're thinking, like that is curiosity. And then having that kindness, that that understanding, that self-love and acceptance, like hell yeah, that is your intuition. When you feel that space, you will then be moving to a new direction. So that's awesome. Um, something that he also then goes in to say is when you have curiosity, you need to protect humility at all costs. If you have an inflated ego, curiosity gets suppressed. So let's all just check in. We're human. We all can all be very critical. We can all have preconceived notions, biases. We can have unconscious biases, but check in with your ego. Is it present? And if it is, does it block you from being able to be curious, to be able to grow, to be able to learn, absorb, evolve. Whew. So, and just, just keep that in check, right? Like if you have an inflated ego, curiosity will get suppressed and that's not gonna benefit anyone. Continuing on, he also says that curiosity are strong and learn. Oh, the two words that stand out in the definition of curiosity is strong and learn. To maximize the value of curiosity, you need a strong work ethic. Huh. Don't have to tell me that. Grew up on a farm. In addition to optimism, one of the driving forces behind love for the journey, or yeah, one of the driving forces behind his love for the journey is curiosity. So again, when we go back and we think about all the ingredients that we've learned, you know, optimism is, a, is an important one, tenacity, accountability, curiosity, kindness. But he's saying that optimism is one of the driving forces and love the journey within, the, within curiosity. Um, the second crucial word for the definition above is learn. Um, if we're never learning, it's hard to ever feel inspired or be impacted. And he actually goes in to say like, curiosity is inspiration for that work ethic. We have to have a strong work ethic if we're gonna be tenacious, if we're going to be able to avoid burnout and apply all these things, especially with curiosity. Um, and it's the people who lack curiosity often trick themselves into thinking they're deploying conviction, which, I, yeah, yeah. We're going to get into conviction in a couple weeks, but um, please don't let that be a reality for you. Um, be careful not to put your past accomplishments on a pedestal or operate from ego and call it conviction. Um, he said that he would put curiosity and humility over conviction and tenacity every day. If you had to, if you had to, when we're going into the pairings, um, 
thinking about what curiosity is and the role it plays and how it allows you to flow and the definition of it, it really is making sure you're staying in check of like, where is your ego present? Is it deflating your ability to learn um, or love the journey? And if it is like, let's deflate it a little bit because the ego is also fed by like past accomplishments and being on a pedestal and that is then going to blind you. And so put curiosity and humility over conviction and tenacity any day solely because of the energy and the sources that come from it and how it will impact you, your ability to move through it, as well as connect with others. So that was curiosity. I'm curious to know what are you curious about? Leave a comment, direct message me, however you wanna get in touch with me. I would love to know what are you currently reading or what course are you currently in or on, on Twitter or YouTube, like uh, Audible, what are you absorbing right now? What are you being curious about? Share it, I'd love to hear it. Um, again, if this is your first video and you're just now watching and tuning in, make sure you go back and listen to the last six, seven weeks um, this is really good stuff. This is all coming from 12 and a half ingredients uh, to leverage your leveraging your emotional success for business by Gary Vaynerchuk. Again, my name is Elizabeth Jolie. I'm so grateful you're here. Um, please share this with someone who may need to hear it and I will see you next week. Mm -hmm.